In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an email signature in Zimbra. Now, an email signature is what's usually at the bottom of your email. Usually has some information, your name, how to reach you. Very popular to use. I'm just going to show you some here. Like This is an example of an email signature. It has information, has a title, office, email, Okay, and this one happens to have a little icon. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, but to start off, let's do a simple case. First of all, how to get there, right? So preferences, mail, and if you notice under mail preferences, we have signatures. Okay, so I got there by going preferences, under mail, I went to signatures. Now you have the signature one here already set to go, and it's blank. We don't have one. So what you can do is you can do a very simple signature, which would just be a plain text signature, Joe Schmo, Schmo, and then Joe Schmo's number. Okay, so that could be one that you save. Now, this signature down here using signatures, when you send an email and whenever you create a new message, you can tell it to make sure that you put your signature at the bottom. Whenever you reply or forward to someone, perhaps you want your signature on the bottom. Okay, so this is a very plain uh, signature. You can put more information if you like, maybe an address or a fax number, whatever. Whatever you do, make sure you save. So now if I were to make a new email, there's my email signature right down here. Okay. Let's get a little fancier though. So I'm going to go back to preferences and I'm going to go back to signatures. Uh, I'm going to delete that signature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit fancier one. Okay. You can also make additional signatures, by the way. You can have signature one, you can create signature two, signature three. Maybe you have different titles and different divisions of what you do. You can make different signatures and you can designate when to use such signatures. Okay. But for now, we're just going to stick with signature one. So I'm just going to delete two and three so that we don't get confused. Signature one. Now over here on the right, format as plain text. That was the previous signature that we did. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to HTML and this might look a little more familiar to you. Now you can make it a little fancier. Now you have options for um, spicing up your signature. So, okay, so we're going to make it a little schnazzy, a little spicier. So Joe Schmo and Joe Schmo's number. Now what you can do is you can change font size here if you'd like. You can change font type. You can change font color over here. And you can also highlight color. So I just did some crazy combination there. Okay, so you can do whatever it is. Maybe you want to use your company colors, your business colors, whatever. You can also put in a logo. If you have a small email logo, and I'm going to suggest no more than 100 pixels, okay, kind of small. If you, are, if you have access to a logo that you can insert, you can do that. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So over here, we have insert images. And you have to go find your particular file. Again, maybe you have a really cool picture you want to use or you, you have a clip art that you want to use. You're going to have to resize it in paint to get it to be about 100 pixels. You want it to be kind of small. Okay, You don't want it to be huge. So I happen to have one pre-made here. Okay, And it tells me I already loaded one. But here's this logo that I have and I've stuck it on here. You can drag it around to the beginning or the end. But if you notice, you're kind of it's kind of hard to control where you want to put it. Okay, so kind of annoying. Maybe you want to do that. Maybe you want the picture before or something like that. Okay. Or you can click on it. And if you don't like it at all, you can just delete it. So we're just going to get rid of everything. All right. So that's how you can make a fancier signature with the logo. What I'm going to show you next is how to do it using a table in Microsoft Word. This is a really great way to get a schnazzy looking signature without having to do a lot of dragging and moving things around and worrying about pictures and loading stuff. All right, so I'm in Microsoft Word, and at the top here I've showed you, this is an example one I did. I just used a preloaded table option, okay, one of the color options, and I put in some text. And what you can do is you can highlight, once you've created a table that you like, you can highlight it, copy it. So I'm going to do Control-C for copy. You could also right-click if you'd like. I'm going to go back to Zimbra, and if I'm in HTML, all I'm going to do is paste that in here. So you can make a really nice-looking signature by using a table in Word. So I'm going to save it. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like, um, if I go to mail and I make a new mail. Uh-oh, where'd my signature go? So, oh, I, I, look what I did. I forgot to tell it to use signature. See? We all do silly things. Save. And I'm going to make a new one. New mail. And there it is. There's my signature. Okay. Let me show you how to make one of these. So in Word, um, there are table features. Let me delete this table here so I can just get rid of it and show you to start a new one. All right, so I have a table, and I'm going to insert table. And this is a table that has two columns and one row. I'm going to do, let's do four rows, and let's do one column. 
okay? So you don't want to have an empty spot or a picture or anything. You can put your name and information here, info, 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 whatever, and you can format it however you like because you're in Microsoft Word, right? You can do so many things in Word. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit here so that I can get to my home stuff. Okay, so, you know, you can make it bold, you can change color, right? Do whatever you normally would do in Microsoft Word. You can do whatever. Since we've made a table in Microsoft Word, now we can format our table. Okay, now that I've made a table in here, um, I can use some of the table tools. So if you notice, I don't know if you can see up here, let me make this bigger for you. But when you're up here, oops, um, in Microsoft Word, I'm going to shift this up for you guys to see what happens. Um, I'm going to click on the table, and if you notice, table tools pops up. Okay, so if I'm off the table, it's not there. If I click on the table, it's there. So in table tools, you have all these design options. So I'm just going to look in this menu, and I'm just going to find a cool one. Okay, I like purple, so I'm going to pick this purple one. So you can use a pre-made one and change your information however you like. Maybe you don't want this to be yellow anymore, so you can get rid of all of that. Ooh, no color. And then you can change your font color. Okay, you can do whatever you like. Maybe you don't want this to be as long. You can drag this and make it shorter. Okay, maybe you decide that you don't want this bottom row. Well, you can right-click and delete that row. Okay, so if you use a table, you have some more control over color and style and font and what you want to do. So I'm just going to play with this a little more here. and Maybe I'll make that black and make these different color. Okay, so possibilities are endless with a table. You can do some really cool stuff. If you happen to have an image, you can also stick an image into your table as well. Okay, so just like up here in this one, if I wanted to, I had this little block here, I could stick a picture in here. And the way I make this block, by the way, what you can do is uh, you have the option with tables is you can merge cells. All you have to do is select them and then you merge them together. So if I had a table that had two columns, I'd be able to merge one column all together, maybe for a space for an icon, and then put my information in the other. So that later on when you put it back in Zimbra, you can put that picture in that spot. Okay, so let's say this is how I wanted it. Actually, I want to go back. Okay, so let's say this is how I wanted it. I'm just going to select it. I'm just going to copy it. Control C. I'm going to go back to Zimbra. And I'm going to make that my new signature. So we get there by going to Preferences, Signatures. Let's say I don't want this one anymore. Gone. Delete. And I'm going to paste my purple one in there. And then I would save it. And that's how you can very easily create a pretty cool looking signature without a lot of work. So every time I make a new email, it would have my cool new signature there. Okay, I hope this helps for Zimbra. And I hope you guys come up with some really cool email signatures. It's kind of fun. Have a good day.